guys, we're here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the all new 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. And a big thanks to Zach at Furman Chevy in Brandon, Florida for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below and if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Zach. And for those of you guys who don't know, the Silverado has been a series of full-size pickups sold by GM since 1999. That's when the first generation was released. The fourth generation Silverado that you see here was released in 2019, facelifted back in 2022 for the 1500s and 2024 for the heavy duties. For 2024, the Silverado 1500 gets a couple new paint colors, slate gray and lakeshore blue. The base work truck trim now gets wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Midnight Edition is now available for the high country, and the blackout package can be added to all trims above the work truck. Finally, Silverados with a 6.2 liter V8 engine now get an available active exhaust that we have here, and it sounds awesome. There are seven trims for the 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500, starting with the $36,000 work truck, all the way up to the $63,000 high country that you see here. What else do we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So up front, you notice your flickering LED daytime running lights are not actually flickering in real life. Full LED for the high and low beam, projector for the low beam, and reflective LED light for the high beam. We got some gloss black trim in the corner with some functional airflow, helping out the aerodynamics on this beefy full-size truck. I'm liking the grill too. Usually I'm not a fan of shiny chrome, but they smoked it out just enough to make it look almost like an aluminum trim. It says high country in the corner. We get chrome tow hooks and a little bit of chrome in between the fog lights down below. We get full front parking sensing, a forward facing camera with a washer. We also get a 360 here for this high country. We get a gold Chevy bow tie. It is massive, bigger than my hand, and a 6.2 liter badge with a pretty deep inward bulge for this beefy 6.2 liter V8, cranking out 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, making it the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 in the segment for the 1500s. The wheel and tire setup is also beefed up. We get these 20 inch rims wrapped in Bridgetone Dueler all-terrain tires, dimensions being 27560 R20. We'll see how the ride quality is with these beefier tires. They're definitely more off-road capable and they also look really, really cool with this premium, I guess, off-road capable luxury truck. We get a high country badge in the upper right fender area and this paint color is beautiful. It's the radiant red metallic replacing the previous cherry red metallic and it looks just as impressive. It says Silverado with some shiny chrome aluminum trim in the corner. We get power deploying running boards, a little bit of chrome for the mirror caps, LED turn signal, additional camera down below helping us out with a 360, blind spot monitoring on the glass and a very large piece of glass for this full-size truck. We get smart access for the driver and the front passenger, a little bit of shiny chrome for the bottom part of the window trim, blacked out B-pillar and a shark fin style antenna on the roof with a conventional antenna on the opposite side. Hopefully you can pick it up on camera. Let's take a quick look at this window sticker, see everything we get on this 2024 Silverado Crew High Country with four-wheel drive. With the radiant red Tenco Jet Black Umber interior, 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8, 10 speed automatic transmission. So, the $66,200 base price for the 4x4, you guys can pause, take a look at all the standard features. Options $2,295 for the 6.2 liter Ecotec V8 with dynamic fuel management, it's a cylinder deactivation system, $1,195 for the power retractable running boards. 850 for the max trailering package, giving us a more beefed up axle, 220 amp alternator, enhanced cooling radiator, revised shocks, heavy duty rear springs, and increased GAWR. About 500 bucks the radiant red tin coat, 400 bucks for the active exhaust, and it sounds awesome. 5,230 bucks in total options, totaling us out at 71,430 before a $1,995 destination charge, totals us out at 73,430. 25. So we are getting up there in price, but considering this is a fully loaded top trim Silverado, you get a lot for the money. You're saving 10, 15 grand compared to a Denali while not really compromising a whole lot of both luxury, looks, and of course performance. The rear wheel and tire setup, same thing as up front. I like the mud flaps. You can check out the gas cap. It's not a push to open, but there's no latches inside to open it. We get easy fill and premium fuel is recommended for this more beefed up 6.2 liter V8. We get the bed step, typical with all fourth generation Silverado's LED tail lights. The reverse lights do not appear to be LED though, but really not a big deal. We get Chevrolet etched in the tailgate, 
chrome Silverado badge on the left side, High Country also chrome on the right side. Shout out Furman Chevy in Brandon, Florida for helping make this review possible. Tow hitch, I'll leave a link right here to show you what this truck is rated to tow. I think it's a little bit higher than my Ram, but it's a little bit lower than a similarly equipped F-150. I love the dual exhaust tips though. We get full rear parking sensing too. We get a zone light back here and our rear view camera. No uh, multi-pro tailgate, but check this out. You press this button and the tailgate electrically drops down, not hydraulic. And since it electrically drops down, you simply press that button one more time and it electrically lifts back up too. That is a nice feature for a top luxury trim Silverado. You can drop it right back down, take a quick look at the bed liner it is a spray in bed liner for the actual bed it doesn't feel quite as premium as a line x liner my 2023 ram bighorn has a line x liner it feels a little bit more premium than that and we get a drop in liner for the tailgate itself we get an ac outlet in the corner 120 volt 400 watt and led lights in the front corners high country is etched into the bed liner that's pretty nice and we get three sets of hooks in every corner of this bed awesome we also have camera mirror and an led third brake light we can press this tailgate button one more time lift it up take a squat back here get a good look at the active exhaust tips spare tire differential suspension but speaking of the exhaust tips let's fire up this beefy 6.2 liter v8 up with the active exhaust and hear how she sounds All right, guys, that was the sound of the 6.2 liter V8 sold by Chevy for the 2024 Silverado 1500 High Country. And with this active exhaust, it sounds really good, cranking out a lot of power at 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission with four-wheel drive here weighing in about 5,100 pounds, enough to get this truck to 60 in the lower end of the five and a half second range, making it a no-joke performer, definitely the quickest full-size truck in the segment. I always wondered why they don't put the 6.2 into the heavy-duty trucks, or at least give you the option, because the 6.6 they currently put in for the gas heavy duties cranks out about the same torque. I believe it's 464 pound-feet of torque, so it's up by four, but it only makes 401 horsepower, so it's down by almost 20 horsepower compared to the 6.2. Regardless, this thing is a monster. I appreciate the hydraulic struts. We can shut this hood right down, take a step back, walk around this beautiful 2024 Silverado 1500 High Country with the 6.2 liter V8. We can take a step inside, check out the luxury features for this top trim High Country. Again, we get smart access for the driver and the front passenger and power deploying running boards. Up top, we get soft touch materials, wood trim beneath that, and perforated leather underneath the aluminum separating the wood from the leather. Gushy soft leather armrest, auto one touch windows up front, auto one touch for the way down out rear, but not auto one touch for the way back up. I like the high country plaque, power folding mirrors, four way adjustable, two person memory seats, lock and unlock, and an aluminum door handle. We get more stitching for this middle portion. I like the bronze contrast, it kind of matches the seat theme, Bose premium audio system and it sounds really good. We get some perforated leather material even for the inserts on this door panel. Just hard plastic for the outside but nice attention to detail by giving us some more premium materials for the inside. Anyway, taking a step inside, we get an aluminum high country plaque as we step inside high country etched into the headrest. I'm loving the seats. They remind me a little bit of like an F-150 King Ranch, a Ram with the limited Longhorn Edition. To me personally, tan leather and pickup trucks just looks really good. They're well bolstered seats too, very comfortable. There's lumbar control, you can recline, drop, lift, and slide the seats. Taking a step inside, we can really check it out. So foot on the brake, engine start, stop, and everything fires right to life. But overall, not much has changed compared to 2023 from the interior standpoint. It's still a really premium feel. And with this update post 22 with the digital gauge display, and 13.4 inch touchscreen, it looks super premium. The steering wheel, also super premium. There's no 10 and two bolstering notch, but that's typical for the full size truck segment. The wheel itself is nice and thick. Nine and three feels great. And we get three spokes on the bottom, a six o'clock spoke, and you can have a nice spoke to rest your arm on the armrest and drive as well. 
On the left side, we have our cruise control settings and forward collision alert and heated steering wheel. The horn area is rubberized. The horn itself, really loud and aggressive. We'll do a window check, see if we get dual panes. We do not get dual panes, but it's a very thick single pane of glass. On the left side, we have our cruise control settings, forward collision alert, and heated steering wheel. On the right side, voice commands. You can hang up and answer your phone calls and adjust the infotainment. Speaking of the infotainment adjustments, right now we're looking at drive summary, trip one. It takes a second to respond, but eventually it does do so. Trip two, timer, tire pressure, driver assistance, oil life, brake pad life, air filter life, and a blank page. You can also see the song that's currently playing, compass, phone, and the overall settings. You can adjust things like the display layout, left side information, right side information, lower gauge information, info page options, units, speed warning, all that. But my personal favorite to look at at all times would probably be this digital speedo, so we'll leave it here. On the left side, we have a digitally illuminated analog speedometer going to 140. On the right side, a tack that goes to about 55, 5600 RPM. Down below, we have a range in the center, fuel indicator on the right side, and coolant temperature on the left. A little bit of gloss black surrounding the screen. On the left side or to the left of the steering wheel, we have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. We get paddle shifters too. The turn signal stocks have a satisfying click. We get auto headlamps and auto high beams, but it doesn't look like we get auto rain sensing wipers. Let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong, but it doesn't say auto anywhere on the stock. To the left of the wheel, we also get um, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, auto headlamps. You can turn on the fog lights too down below and zone lights for the rear, for the bed, and for the rear tailgate area. We have the interior lights too, four wheel drive. We get four auto, two high, four low, and four high. Drive mode selector, we get sport, off-road, and normal mode. So in normal mode, the exhaust gets a lot quieter. Take a listen. You don't really hear anything. You don't really hear that much through the interior anyway. Check it out in sport. And in sport, take a listen. Definitely hear a little bit more through the cabin, but outside it makes a way bigger difference. Let's check it out in off-road, see if it stays in the loud exhaust mode. Yep. Yep, definitely sounds really good. So for this review, we'll start off in sport, transition into normal and just see what the differences are. But if I was driving this truck, I'd probably leave it in sport because you do get to keep your overdrive gears. It doesn't really affect the gas mileage too much. But with this active exhaust, at least on regular roads, I just enjoy hearing the 6.2 liter V8 a lot more. On highways, it may get a little bit annoying with the drone. We'll see how it is at about 60, 70 miles an hour in this review and we'll find out. Anyway, continuing along, we have an electronic parking brake on the left side too. Hood latch release, so we get a good look at the pedals. Dead pedal on the left side. The materials for this dashboard are all soft touch. We don't get a heads up display as an option, but really not a big deal. I personally don't use it that much anyway. And we don't get a digital rear view mirror. I mentioned before that we did, but that camera looking thingy was really just a zone light for the bed area. It's still an auto dimming rear view mirror. There's a little bit of a frame on it, but really not a big deal. The 13.4 inch touchscreen, let's check it out stay in demo mode cool so here you can see the audio maps phone cameras google assistant play store apple carplay and android auto you get the trailer mode too climate settings wi-fi hotspot alexa my chevrolet podcast and news so you got quite a bit here we'll check out the map real quick and now that it's loaded up you guys can check it out the response is really good it's a google maps display the resolution is also excellent. It shows you where the traffic is and it gives you live alerts as well. You can type in the address when you're not moving, but if you're moving, it's a lot more convenient to just press this button on the left side and use your voice commands. Anyway, my personal favorite to look at at all times would be this map, so we'll leave it here. Beneath that, we get some smoked aluminum trim. The volume dial feels very premium. Turn the audio volume off. Lane keep assist. You can turn off the parking sensors, auto start, stop, electric on electronic tailgate hazards turn off the traction control and drop all the windows with the click of one button we mentioned the engine start stop button trailer brake controller heated and ventilated front seats dual zone automatic front climate control with all the adjustments in the center usb a and c port solid amount of storage in the center the gear selector controls the 10 speed automatic transmission we get low gear let's check out the backup camera it is a super high resolution guidance lines and trajectory we also check out your front facing camera over the top for the front and over the top for the rear. You press these buttons on the side, check out the blind spot camera so you don't scuff up these nice 20 inch rims. Over the top trailer hitch camera so you can line up your hitch to its receiver. Finally, we can also press this button on the side and activate the full 360 and you get a full over the top 360 with additional guidance lines and trajectory for the front and the rear. Awesome, throwing right back in a park 
and it should return us to the home screen. There we go, the map, my personal favorite to look at at all times. We get some more wood trim for where your knee will often hit. I kind of wish they gave us some leather or some type of pattern material instead of the wood, but it still looks premium. Additional pockets for some storage. Two cup holders, you'll fit 24 ounce bottles with no problem, pass through, nice for a phone or a wallet. Same with this slot, and you could probably fit a wallet in this slot or some keys in there. We also have a wireless charging pad, also a good spot for a phone. The armrest is gushy soft leather with this beige tan perforated leather in the center and some beige contrast stitching. The console itself has this cubby. It's very large, larger than my RAM. You'll throw some coins, business cards, car accessories in there with no problem. Additional USB-A and C port and a C outlet in the corner as well. The storage in here is massive. You're fitting five or six two liter bottles of soda and a light so you can see everything nice and clearly at night. We'll put this tray right back, drop this console. We also have two glove boxes here. The first one is outlined in wood trim. I wish it said high country on it. We get plaques on both door panels, so really not a big deal. The first one is not the largest, but you'll fit probably two or three pairs of gloves in the top glove box. The bottom glove box is a little bit long of a stretch, but it's large. It looks larger than my Ram 1500. You'll fit 25 license plates. Two pairs of shoes should fit in there with no problem. We don't get a panoramic moonroof or anything, but we do get a fifth opening window out rear. It opens in an opposite direction compared to my Ram, but again, not really a big deal. That's about it though, guys, for the front seat of this 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 top of the line high country. The luxury in this truck is definitely there. It looks sick and it is capable with this monster 6.2 liter V8. I'm actually surprised that this vehicle costs under 75,000 bucks after all the destination chargers and options that we have here. The value is definitely there. I don't know where I'm going out rear. I just love the sound of that 6.2 liter exhaust. But taking a step inside, up top out rear, we still get the soft touch materials, wood grain trim beneath that, aluminum separating the perforated leather and some nice soft leather material for the armrest. We had an auto one touch on the way down for the window, but you gotta press and hold for the way back up. Stitching for the center. We don't get that leather insert for this storage area in the back like we did up front, but it's still large. You'll easily fit a foot long and a 24 ounce bottle in front of it. Additional Bose speaker. No aluminum nameplate out rear. Again, really not a big deal. The rear seats are still tan leather in the center, perforated. Pretty comfortable for a rear seat. We can lift them up. We get some additional storage. This is nice for hunting equipment, car accessories and whatnot. You can still probably lay a small air mattress down here. It's a flat floor, so if you get kicked out of the house, you can sleep in the back of your 2024 Silverado High Country if need be. Anyway, dropping these seats right down just takes a little bit of muscle. You get a little bit of secret storage. So if you got somebody sitting back here, you can load this thing up with some secret stuff and nobody would even think to look unless this person for some reason happened to get up. We'll move these carpeted floor mats out of the way, taking a step inside. Very easy to do so with those power deploying running boards. And I'm a little bit over six feet tall, sitting behind my seat settings, and I still have a foot of knee room. Map pocket behind both of the front seats. Headroom, thanks to this cutout, I still have an inch, maybe two. So if you're under like seven feet tall, you'll sit in the back of a Silverado with no problem. It is super spacious. Air vents, heated rear seats, USB-A and C port. The rear armrest gets a rope, you can pull it down. If you get two cup holders, you'll fit 24 ounce bottles. A square cup, I'm not quite sure what you put there, maybe a pack of cigarettes. Very soft though for the armrest. I kind of prefer the Ram where it has the actual console for the rear armrest, but this is still super comfortable for the rear passengers. The rear lights are LED. Same thing as up front. We didn't check them out up front, but you have my word that they're LED. You also get a grab handle, so it's a little bit easier to get in and out for the smaller passengers. But that's about it though, guys, for the inside and outside of the 2024 Chevy Silverado High Country top of the line with a 6.2 liter V8 with a beautiful radiant red metallic paint color. I really like this truck. Previously, my favorite trucks have really been from GMC, especially for the higher end of GMC. I just simply couldn't afford it. So the Ram 1500 is a lot more realistic for me. But this 2024 High Country with the 6.2 and a sticker price under 75,000 bucks, the value is definitely there. And with this beefed up 6.2 and new active exhaust, let's take this 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 out for a drive and see what it's got. All right, guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got. My first impression though, 
Although this is a large full-size truck, Chevy's always done a great job of making this vehicle feel a lot smaller than it is. The brake pedal, it feels a little mushy. I kind of wish the brakes were a little bit more sensitive. I definitely prefer the brakes that we get from the Ram. But other than the brakes, I prefer the Chevy steering. I prefer the Chevy handling. And with the 6.2 liter V8, I definitely prefer the Chevy performance. Got a third throttle, it just pulls sounding active exhaust this is a sick sick vehicle taking a step out here Ooh. yeah <laughs> sounds really really good as far as handling we'll throw it through this roundabout the brakes you got to definitely apply a lot of brake pedal pressure but handling wise whoo Definitely feels good. Body roll, I mean, there is some body roll, but compared to the competition, it's just a lot, a lot better. And with these beefier tires and heavier duty suspension for this tow package, the ride quality, this is the best riding Silverado I have ever been in. I'm really, really liking this truck, especially for the price point. See, over those huge bumps, it still stayed super composed. This ride quality is Honestly, no worse than my 2023 Ram Bighorn. Right here, looks like a good spot to try out an acceleration off the line on the gas. Oh my God. Oh. It bangs those shifts and this thing pulls, especially off the line. This thing from zero to 20, zero to 30 in the four wheel drive auto mode is keeping up with a lot of sports cars. Of course, once you start crossing 50 miles an hour or so, you start to realize that this is a 5,000 pound truck after all, so you simply can't expect the performance to be nearly as good. But wow, this thing can pick up speed really quickly. One more time, guys, we'll try it out off the line on the gas. Oh my God. And it sounds so ridiculously good with this active exhaust. For 400 bucks, that is a must have feature now on a 6.2 liter Silverado. This sounds probably just as good if not better than my 2023 ram and i got the Flowmaster muffler on there this is a great setup i love the performance i love the driving dynamics wow if i had a little bit more money i would definitely consider going for a high country with the 6.2 now guys handling is good ride quality is good the tech impressive visibility is great this is like the sports car of full-size trucks. You wouldn't consider it to be, or you wouldn't expect it to be because of just sheer size and Chevy's reputation of just overall ruggedness. You see these large, not quite sure what, it was yelling at me there. I guess it sensed that he was making a turn without stopping at the stop sign. So the advanced safety features are also there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it's doing there. It keeps alerting me, vibrating the butt, and shining with that red flash windshield all right guys taking a step out here we can open her up a little bit more on the gas Ooh. guys this thing can really pick up speed and now just cruising along at highway speed i don't hear any drone at all although we don't get dual pane windows the wind noise is super limited a little bit more wind noise than a ram noticeably more wind noise than a ram but the road noise is quiet. I don't really hear any road noise. Nice maneuver, buddy. But yeah, I don't hear any road noise, the wind noise, although you hear a little bit more than a Ram, it's still very quiet. It's definitely one of the quietest vehicles in Chevy's lineup. We can try out a real world turning radius. Not the sharpest, but sharp enough on the gas. Ooh. <laughs> Overall, guys, if you're looking for a full-size truck, a full-size luxury truck, but you don't want to spend more than seventy to seventy-five thousand dollars, and that doesn't sound like a very low number, but considering that Ram Limited 1500s are selling for over 80k now before discounts, Denali's are selling 90k if you go for the Ultimate. This High Country gives you 90% of a Denali Ultimate, especially performance-wise with this active exhaust while saving you 10 to 15,000 bucks. If that's what you're looking for, guys, this is really one of the best options on the road today. Coming from a Ram 1500 owner, I'm telling you guys, this thing has a great ride quality. 
It is a beautiful looking truck and it is fast. If that's what you're looking for, guys, I would definitely recommend checking out the 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. And a big thanks to Zach at Furman Chevy in Brandon, Florida for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to our inventory below and if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck in the Brandon, Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Zach. And huge thanks to all of you guys for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you and I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you wanna see reviewed on this channel and I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope all of you have a great day.